What is it like to live in Arlington, Virginia? This video has a lot of useful information, so I've created a blog post to go along with it. You can find the link to that down in the description below, and you can use that as a resource to refer back to. Also, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. I'm always coming out with new videos to help buyers and sellers with useful information in the DMV area. Now, I may be partial. I grew up in Arlington, so I know how much I love the school system and taking advantage of the great parks, but I created this video of the five most important things you should know in order to help you make a decision if Arlington County is right for you. Number one, location. One of the best things is that you're right outside the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., so you can easily take advantage of everything that that city has to offer, the museums, the culture, theaters, nightlife, and obviously a lot of Arlington residents work downtown in DC. However, Arlington is really an established city of its own. It's the second biggest in the DC metro area. And 35% of residents actually live and work in Arlington. And for the rest, the typical commute time is under 30 minutes. Because of the location, you have a lot to take advantage of. You're only a couple hours away from the Blue Ridge Mountains and Shenandoah, and about three hours from many different beaches. And there are a lot of other great places, Baltimore, Harper's Ferry, Richmond, National Harbor, are within a short drive. Number two the weather. One thing that people often say they love about this area is that they get to experience all four seasons. You get a typically mild climate with an average of over 200 sunny days per year, but you do get some snow. The average is about 14 inches per year. We typically just get about one or two inches at a time and it doesn't normally accumulate. We do get the occasional snowstorms like we did in 1996 and 2009. We get a beautiful flowering season in the spring You'll see lots of dogwoods, Virginia state tree, and many, many cherry blossom trees, which are very popular around the area. We have beautiful fall foliage. Taking a drive out to the Blue Ridge Mountains is a must-see. Number three, infrastructure. You should know where your tax money is going. They have done and continue to do a great job building up the park system. Arlington's only 26 square miles, and within that they have 52 miles of bike trails and 149 county-run parks. The bike trails actually make it very easy to avoid using your car. They have a great capital bike share program with 92 stations to help you get around the city. They maintain their roads incredibly well, and there are seven metro subway stops in Arlington, with new ones being planned for the National Landing Area. Forbes ranked Arlington number one for the best city to get around in without a car. And you have Reagan National Airport at a metro stop to make air travel very easy as well. Arlington County school system was ranked number one in Virginia by Nation 2020. All of its elementary schools are ranked B minus or higher and 15 of the 23 elementary schools ranked A- minus or higher and are among the top schools in the nation. All three public high schools in Arlington have great ratings as well and crime rates. According to MoneyGate, Arlington County is the safest city to live in in America. They beat out 303 other localities for this rating. You will find a lot of red light cameras in Arlington, but as in the rest of Virginia, they're not able to use speeding cameras, which you'll find all over nearby Maryland and DC. Number four, restaurants, entertainment, and art. Keep in mind, it's only a short drive over over one of the four bridges you can use to get to DC to take advantage of all the nightlife and culture that the capital has to offer, but there's no lack of great stuff to do in Arlington itself. There are 471 restaurants in Arlington. There are two full-blown malls, newly renovated Boston Quarter in North Arlington, and Pentagon City in South Arlington, now part of National Landing. There's a lot more development to happen around that area soon, and some of it's already started. Other prime spots I can point you to for places to dine, shop, go to theaters are Clarendon and Courthouse, which has has great nightlife, Sherlington Village, which opened in 1944 and was the first large-scale shopping complex in the DC area, and one of the first in the country, and it still retains its charm to this day. And Columbia Pike in South Arlington, which has always been a very busy commercial district and is now the focus of many transformative development plans. There are nine farmers markets in Arlington. You can catch one every day of the week except for Monday. We have an annual Taste of Arlington Festival, as well as different arts festivals throughout the summer and even public art tours you can take of the city's public art murals, sculptures, and street art. And number five, the types of housing. Established in 1847 as part of Alexandria, named Arlington in 1920 after the Arlington House, which is now Arlington National Cemetery. There's a lot of history here. You'll find many older homes as you drive around the city. Because the city has been established for so long, the average age of homes is 46 years old. You'll find those dating back to the early 1900s, and a lot of the city was developed in the 1950s. 
streets in 60. You'll find bungalow and craftsman style homes, which are popular in the Clarendon and Lion Park neighborhoods. Throughout the DMV area, the most common style home that you'll see is colonial style. This is characterized by a door in the center, rectangular windows on each side, and two floors. You'll also see Cape Cods, although I feel like this is more common in Falls Church right next door. And here's the typical style of new construction homes you'll find in Arlington. This style has become very common for what's being built. In fact, it's so common I have people tell me this looks like a home that should be in Arlington when they see this style elsewhere in the area. And being a fairly densely populated area, there are plenty of condos available, all different styles depending on when they were built, of course. If you found this helpful, please check out my cost of living in Arlington video. You should find that helpful as well. And again, please like and subscribe. I have a lot more planned for you.